welcome Gemini. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with at this time using Lover's Oracle, Mystical Wisdom Card Deck and the Light Seer's Tarot. Now Gemini with the Lover's Oracle doesn't necessarily mean it's a love reading but if it turns into that it does. Okay so wow okay already flipping out. Um, Gemini, if these messages don't resonate with you, please check out your um, other placements of your birth chart. And even if they don't resonate with you right now, they may resonate with you at a future date. Because we are dealing with the next two weeks, which hasn't occurred yet. Okay, so one more card for Gemini, please. And there it is. Wow. Okay, let me pick that up. Okay, Gemini, we've got some beautiful looking cards here. So first up, we have sexual union. Honour the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Interesting. Because I kind of feel like that place can be come to without it being anything to do with it being sexually. Um, hmm, but then I'm thinking of tantric. So, you know, that could be, I don't know, I feel like that could tap into that more. Anyway, okay, so this card here. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Interesting. See, this is the thing, right? You don't necessarily need to be in sexual union with someone to honour that place. Hmm interesting okay next card here when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love okay gemini let's look into this okay two cards for sexual union for gemini please honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find True bliss. I love that. I didn't like how that came out. First card here we have celebration. One more card for sexual union for Gemini, please. There it is. Okay. It's upside down. I don't know what it is yet, but this one here, celebration. Let go and have fun. Mm, I wonder if this is weighing quite heavy on you. Um, regardless, I think it's really important for you, Gemini, to get out, enjoy your life, right? I wonder if there are some of you who are in separation and not actually connected with the person that you wish to be with. Um, And this could be kind of putting things on hold for you in the sense of you not proceeding and um, getting on with your life. Because at the end of the day, Gemini, it's your life that um, is to be lived by you. It's not necessarily about anyone else other than yourself. So it's very important for you to start leading the way in that regard, waiting, uh, rather than waiting for someone else to come in and lead the way for you. Okay, two cards for celebration for Gemini, please. Two cards for celebration for Gemini. Two cards for celebration for Gemini, please. Hmm. Interesting, I wonder if you're holding back on something here, Gemini. Too many cards there. There it is. Okay, 
So we have three cards here, actually. The Hierophant, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Moon. Yeah, um, Gemini, this path that you're on, it, not everything is clear. And there's, there's this sort of um, <clears throat> need inside of you to have everything be clear so that you know exactly what's going on. And, I, and, and this is what is holding you back here, I feel, right? Because the thing is, here's the thing, is the thing is, here's the thing. Okay, Gemini, as you travel the path, okay, it is laid out for you in the sense that you came here to complete a particular mission, okay? You may not know what that is yet, okay? So this could be something that you're still dis discovering. But there is a legacy that you are here to leave behind, okay? Part of this letting go and having fun is going to help you to leave behind an energy and a vibration that you will be proud of, right? Just like the Hierophant here, laughing his head off. Oh, I've got to climb this staircase to the light here. But the Hierophant knows that he can raise his vibration to a certain point that he can levitate up there, right? So he's laughing his head off going, I don't need to do it that way. I can do it this way. He's having some fun about it, right? And even if he has to walk the staircase, he's getting himself into um, this mode of no problem. It's going to be a great journey. I'm going to love it. I'm going to enjoy it rather than seeing it as a task to get up those stairs, right? And... Um, yeah, I feel like for some of you, it could very well be that you're kind of drowning in the um, in the not knowing. Um, and I feel like this is important for you to really connect in. I wonder if for some of you, Geminis, actually your shadow self is overbearing for you right now. Um, and you may feel like a little bit like you're drowning. Um, but just remember, remember that you are the one who is here for you, not anyone else, okay? Even if you have children, yes, you're here to guide them. Yes, you're here to, you know, do what you need to do for them. But it's ultimately about your journey, okay? And we have Dragon Discover Your Courage 100% Gemini, you know, you have the ability, this person here is going underneath the water as though it's just taking her, but you have the ability to swim to the top and go, I'm not, I'm not having a bar of that, right? And really start walking your path with purpose and joy. Okay, so two cards for Dragon for Gemini, please. Two cards for Dragon, Dragon for Gemini. I like that. I just love this. Honour the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. It's beautiful. Okay, so... Two cards for Dragon for Gemini, please. Tell me more about this. Discover your courage. Okay. Okay, Gemini, this could be you needing to get people around you to assist you in what it is that you need to go forward with, okay, um, to help, you know, to, to I guess to, uh, yeah, okay, sorry. Here's the thing. We also have these two cards here, Nine of Wands and the Five of Swords. The thing is, Gemini, that some of you believe you have to do it all on your own and you don't. Okay, you can call on other people to help you, to support you, to assist you, to brainstorm, you know, and do all these things that are going to help you. Right now, it seems you're in your head and you feel like there's no way forward. But what appears to be obstacles are not as big as what you believe because it's actually just running around in your head and I feel as though once you release this and get together with people that you trust 
it's not going to appear so daunting to you okay right now let's look at this card here okay so it's got no title two cards for this card for Gemini please so acceptance is the key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are here we are with the talent oh oh and it fell on the floor too um there is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control just like how I just almost had it balancing on my wrist and it fell right it's beyond my control I can't do anything about it yeah one more card for this that's two cards we only want one more card please one more card for this card for Gemini please thank you let me just pick this up Gemini okay we have go with the flow let things happen a hundred percent see here's the thing right there's this here she's she's driving the fish right this reminds me of the chariot card actually um to still go forward regardless of what is going on yeah now this one here is just floating to the bottom where she is in charge she is in control yeah and so this is what I feel like not as a distraction but just to really start taking control of your own life here Gemini two cards for go with the flow let things happen for Gemini please and the thing is that when we um, try to control things we're then swimming against the current which is not necessarily the direction we're meant to get, be heading in and we also make very little progress when we are doing that okay so this is really important for you to um, make sure that you are allowing things to pan out as they are meant to Gemini and when you come into yourself um, it doesn't I don't know why they keep going on the floor. It doesn't really matter um, what eventually happens because you've created your life for you and you can continue on with that regardless of any external happenings. Okay, yeah, we've got the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Cups and the Devil here. Okay, so Gemini, this is really um, letting go. I, I feel like for some of you, you're uh, replaying this heartache. Um, this is done now. It has happened, okay? It's time to let those thoughts go, Gemini, uh, because they are no longer serving you. You want the Nine of Cups. This is what you want. This is what you desire. But so long as, <clears throat> excuse me, you're hanging on to this, it's never going to come. And it's actually becoming quite a, um, a hindrance to your life. Okay, this is what needs to let go of, be let go of, um, because look at him reaching his hand out here going, please, you know, and, and I feel like this is these thoughts, there's, there kind of like needs to be a break, you know, a break in cutting these cords actually, Gemini, the cords need to be cut so that you can get to all your dreams um, you know your wishes can be fulfilled then okay the next card we have here is epiphany see clarity wow that's cool man this is you rising up Gemini rising up wow this is incredible it's you choosing this is the thing I feel like for some of you there's been this mask that you've worn for such a long time it's now you choosing how you want to create yourself and how you want to rise up and what you want that to look like right okay so two cards for epiphany for Gemini please and remember acceptance is the key to inner peace yeah one more card for epiphany please <clears throat> trying to say that right one more card for epiphany for gemini please here it is okay gemini let's have a look see <clears throat> we have the four of swords and the ace of wands yeah
seek clarity. I feel like this rest period here is allowing you to find what it is, you know, actually all of this, to be honest with you, Gemini, is allowing you to find what it is that sets your soul on fire, right? Who are you? This is such a journey of self-discovery here. Who are you really? You know, this, when I'm talking about, you know, when we first started this reading and I'm talking about a love reading, this is this love with yourself, a love for what it is that you enjoy doing, this passion, the thing that sets your soul on fire, right? Love is not always about romantic relationships, okay? But I feel like there's been a romantic relationship that has absolutely kept you up and um, there's a dream that you want to aim towards yet is pulling you down because Gemini, and I just want to talk from my own experience here because sometimes it's like if I let it go, then they kind of get away with it, right? And if they come around again, they won't know how much it hurt. But that's not serving anyone. That's only keeping you down. That's only keeping you here in this place where you continuously need to heal instead of moving forward towards this passionate dream that you have within you. And I feel like it's not just an idea or a dream, it's the sole purpose, right? So, Gemini, <clears throat> next card here. This is so beautiful, I love this. It's a gorgeous card, a heart and angel wings. And this is a healed heart, Gemini, a heart that has healed that is protected and loved, you know? So, two cards for this card for Gemini, please. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. And here's the thing, right? <clears throat> There's other people that we have in our lives who we can love, but sometimes we concentrate so much on the ones we've lost that we forget about the ones who are right in front of us, who are there, you know? So, yeah, this is really important for you to um, look at doing this, okay? Seven deadly sins here, Gemini. Okay, so humanity's destructive traits, yep. Clearing out what it is that doesn't, doesn't serve you, like this type of energy, okay? Cutting those cords, and um, if there's anything that you're using to distract you, um, then that needs to go, Gemini. It's time for you to rise up. It really is. We are living in a time now where there's no mucking around. It's time to get to work, okay? So seven deadly sins. Two cards for seven deadly sins for Gemini, please. One more card for seven deadly sins for Gemini. Okay, two more. <clears throat> Okay, so there's a decision that you need to make here to let go of what it is that you need to let go of. Let go of the part of yourself that stays stuck here. There's this opportunity here, Gemini, for you to recreate yourself, okay, so that... Um, you can create these new memories with those who you love and who truly love you too, right? So important. Okay, so there was another card flip out here. Okay, Al, follow your intuition. Yep, <clears throat> Gemini, too much in here. We've got to let our intuition lead the way, right? Um, so two cards for Al, please, for Gemini. Two cards for Owl, and this will not steer you wrong. You may have lost faith in your intuition because it may appear as though um, it's it's put you on the wrong path or it's led you in the wrong direction. But Gemini, the thing I want to say about this is one more card for Owl, please. Uh, that's like far too many. Um, what was going to say? Bring it back, please. Yes, 
there you know the difference between fully knowing and wondering right and um this is where the difference is okay when we're in our head and there is healing to be done and there are distractions and we're not clearing the path for ourselves it's very difficult to listen to this intuition to feel the intuition especially in where when we're holding on to this kind of thing okay when we're in this state right because we think it's the intuition but there's so much um cloudiness there that our intuition can't get through like it can when it, there's a clear channel there so this is why it's always so important to do the work to heal and get through whatever it is that you need to get through so that your intuition has a chance to come through clearly and concisely for you i've got a card on the floor so let me pick that up okay so this this is about what are you going to grow here gemini what do you want to aim towards all right um and for yourself for yourself because once you determine that for yourself you can only attract or bring in the best of what it is that you're putting out there okay and i know i've been over this heaps of times before but really really looking at what do you want to plant in your garden okay what do you want to fill your cup with here gemini okay um we we had what was it the ace of wands somewhere as well um you know, this is what, what do you want to become passionate about? How do you want to grow your life? You know, what what do your nine of cups contain? Because the last cup that is missing here is the ace of cups. So this is where your focus is right now. Okay, filling your cup and what that is filled with, Gemini. Okay, and the last card here, the emperor because Gemini, this is ultimately what you want, right, is the emperor, look at him, he's holding the king here like it's, it's just a chess piece, the king has nothing on the emperor, right, the emperor rules his entire empire, and this is what you deserve, okay, 100% what you deserve, and also what you have the ability to bring in for yourself. But first, Gemini, you need to get into the energy of the Empress. Okay? So, Gemini, I'm going to leave that with you. And um, also, sorry, just before I do, I want to say, if, you know, if you're an Emperor watching this, then you're drawing in your empress. So, you know, it is the energies that we're discussing here, not necessarily the gender, okay? Anyway, Gemini, let me leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. You are totally worth being taken care of. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.